It has arrived. Finally. I've been waiting for this for a few... Can you see it? I've been waiting for this for a few weeks now to go along with this. And we're going to do, at long last, an SSD upgrade on the MacBook A1708, which is a 2017 MacBook Pro. Let's see, so, yeah, A1708, which previously has this sort of um, bespoke Apple style hard drive, which, or not hard drive, flash storage, which looks a bit like this. And is, you can't buy hard drives like this, apart from, from Apple. It's a bespoke design. So someone's made these little adapters and you can slide in the good old M2 NVMe storage into here. So that's great. Let's give it a bash and see if it works and we we'll go from 128 gigs to one terabyte. So I was just doing the black magic disk speed test there and it looks like we're getting a write speed of seven, almost 700 megabits per second and read speed of 1200, which isn't great. Hoping we can improve on that. So let's get this thing installed and see what we can do. It's gonna be a wee while, but I'll just show you how we install it. And then we'll go from there. Try this one. Oh, too big. I don't think I have the right one. No, not that one. Not me. That's the one. Right, that was down here all the time. Brilliant. Oof. It's a P5 1.2, whatever that means. So get a bit of leverage in here. I just stick in the screwdriver and then you get a finger under and you got to snap it up. Maybe use the pick so I don't burst my nails. There we go. I was a bit weary running a pick through bits where you can't see in case you chop a wire. It'd be pretty easy to chop a wire over this. Hopefully I've not done that. that I'm forgetting. There we go. Just push it out that way. Pull it back. Put that there. Right, that's better. Back in the upstairs where I belong. Just make sure this is focused right. There we go, right, so battery connector so what we need to do is get this piece off here this is the battery doings just take this little clip out lift that bit back undo this big screw big screw and lift that bit up and that's the battery disconnected and we'll check it just to make sure Definitely not coming on this time. Right, so now we want to get this boy out. Put two screws to come out here. Now this is where if the power was on, you'd have to be a bit worried, but it's definitely not on. Check that. I'm just going to use this little plastic spudger. It's got to come up and back.
Tschüss, Ungarn. NFHK. Anybody know what that means? I don't have a clue. The last time I did a video for um, an SSD upgrade was on my old iMac, which is gone now. Um, that's the most popular video on this channel, about 200,000 views. So I'm hoping this one does about the same. But it annoys me there's not 200,000 likes or 200,000 subscribers. I mean, what? what's the harm? This helps you, just subscribe. And then that helps everyone, doesn't it? The stupid YouTube chat. Anyway, can we get that screw out? Four screws. So we're nearly there. This is where our new hard drive is going to go. We're pretty much done with that. This is the new one. One terabyte. Two, 200, uh, 2,400 megabits per second read speed, which is, what? Almost over three times faster than what the flash, what that guy was saying when we did the black magic. So we get this, you can see what way it goes in. Now this is where it gets a bit dodgy. There's nothing to hold that down. There's a wee, the wee screw hole there. Just take it back out. The wee screw there, but I mean, that's, there's no hole in the middle of this to screw it in there. So what's the point? So what we're going to do is everyone, every other video that I've seen of folk doing this is using, um, what are they using? Electrical tape which I just thought is crazy. What you want is this. The Captan tape. And what I'm gonna do is just tape up the back of this um, SSD. This new one here really jumped that right into the battery there. That would have been a disaster. So I'm just tape this all up because we don't want to avoid this shorting anything out on the computer when it's sitting against it. There we go, that's all taped up now, so with it sitting against some bare metal, hopefully that will stop it from doing anything nasty. Now we're just going to sellotape that bit down with another bit. For a second, stick that there. It's not exactly like pinging up, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Just give it a second, see how it goes. I'll do another couple of bits on there just to make sure. The last thing I want is it. Well, it's not going to go anywhere when the lid's on there anyway. I guess so. It's pointless. Pointless conversation because it's going to be held down regardless. I'm just going to cover the whole thing with the tape. One terabyte laptop, that's what we want right now. We've got a wee bit of tape there. Just put that on. That's where that came from. There. Just put that back on there. Right, so we need to put the screws back in here for the battery now. What was that screw? Well, that's the one after that, right? So we'll just put the battery screws back in, and then we'll be almost ready to test it. And this has taken about two hours for me to do this because I had to stop and have my dinner. But really, it's about a ten-minute job, and it's not difficult in the slightest. Not like that other one with the iMac. You have to take the screen off and everything. This is a bit tricky to get in this one. There we go. Oh, I see it just keeps coming out. So not difficult, but definitely a bit bouncy. There we go. I'll not do that with a screwdriver. Just poke that weak thing down there. And that's all that back in. So where's the weak cover for that? There, it's there. This just goes. <coughs> Yeah. Hopefully it'll stick back on. 
Some of that screws fit be there. And then put we here and there. Put the lid on same where we took it off, I guess. stickers all right so let's just move it right. put that so you can see oh you can see me as well right good right so we're going to do internet recovery which we need to do shift option command r to access that so we'll switch it on press shift off option command r and it should bring up a wee spinny planet planet, a globe maybe, there we go, see that, so we'll choose the network, put in the password, and then let's just see what happens here, so it's downloading the software now, this can take a wee minute so it might uh, just jump past this bit, yeah we'll let that download, I'll come back once it's finished, so that was about an hour and a half, that took me, let's just restart and now, or get into the next part and see what we come into. Okay, so we want to first go to disk utility. And we've got our good disk there. One terabyte, excellent. Uh, and then we'll just initialize that by, well, I like to call it Mac OS. <coughs> I don't think it matters, it's going to decide what it wants anyway, isn't it? It's just habit. And then close that. Reinstall macOS. Hi Sierra. Huh? What is it doing, Hi Sierra? So it was Catalina. Catalina. Yeah, I've read all that. Right, that's where we want it. Oh, 15 minutes to go. Come on. I suppose I could have done a time machine backup, but it was a, this arrived quicker than I thought it was going to arrive. I thought it was going to take till the end of August. According to the wee thing, it was supposed to take till the end of August, so I wasn't prepared, but I definitely wasn't prepared to wait after it did arrive. I tell what's too bright on this thing, especially when it's like on the on here. You need to be able to see what's there in here, but then this might be blown out. I think it is. See if I do it like that, you can see what it says, but then you can't see what's on. You can't see this. You need to be there to see that. It'll be there. Nah, there. You just have to suffer with that. Turn the bright, can turn the brightness down. So it's quite uh, quite good that it works. Um, otherwise, it would have been a bit of a waste for a hundred hundred quid for a hundred uh, for a one terabyte SSD. Nasty that it looks so bad when you install it. You know, if you just you just have to sell it, keep it down. But I guess you know, no one's ever going to see it. It's not like it's an important. It's not like it's going to affect the way the computer looks until you open it up and you're like, oh my god, what's going on here? But if it saves you having to spend... Well, I don't know how much Apple charges for these, if you can even buy them. But when you're upgrading the computer, I'll just put a wee video here on the website, but when you're upgrading it and you choose a bigger one than the 128, a larger capacity, the price increase is ridiculous. Hopefully it'll be on the screen now, but um, so this, you know, having it look a bit funny inside the computer where no one's going to see it, and even it'll be even better if this is this was what 700 megabit read write speed megabit. I don't know if it's megabit or megabyte. Anyway, 
it's and this one's supposed to be 2400 so if that if that's improved as well then we're definitely you know the, the way it looks inside the computer it doesn't matter anyway not that i was bothered i've had jank out looking computers in my time than that can't even see it in this one but anyway i don't know what we're waiting for here there's nothing really to see I'll come back once it's installed and we'll get Black Magic back up and see uh, see how much quicker it is. We know it works. The hard drive's there. It's installing it now. This is a perfect solution as far as I'm concerned. Apart from looking a bit ugly inside, but no one's looking there. Um, so once we get Black Magic, once it's installed, we get Black Magic back on, and I'll come back and show you how the speed increase was. Right, it's done. So let's have a look. Oh, right, so I've, worked, I've finished the install, signed in and everything. But let's have a look at the um, About This Mac. Yeah, so if we go into About This Mac, and then you can see it's a uh, one terabyte solid state PCI Express drive before, before, although I didn't show you, it just said flash storage there. So we've got one terabyte of space, we're not going to run out of that anytime soon. Whereas usually we'd be well under 100 gig left by this point, just installing the operating system. And then we'll have a look at the black magic speed test. This was shown under, um, under 700 megabits per second before. So let's see what it does then. So it's difficult to say. It's definitely over. It was shown 14, 1400 right. Well, it's shown 1400 read, but I think it's probably right into the disk just now uh, because it, it's just setting up basically. So there's probably quite a lot of disk activity. Maybe try that one again in the future and see what it gets up to. It's still going over, over a giga or a mega, a thousand megabits a second. A gigabit. You could see. So pretty happy with that. I don't know what that does. Changes the amount of data it's writing, maybe. I no, see it's way up to fifteen hundred there. So the speed is an added bonus, really. I, don't, I mean, I didn't think this was a slow computer. Certainly not through the the data uh, or the hard drive. But the speed issue to this is when you're running you know, two or three things at the same time. When you're running two or, two or three programs at the same time, the fan just goes ballistic and the whole thing grinds to a halt usually. The reason for this was to get more storage. Now we've got 10 times more storage, so it shouldn't run out and I'll be able to carry on without having a format every five minutes. So that's perfect. Hope that helps. And if it does, consider subscribing. And let me know if you have any questions about doing it or if you have done it, let me know how it worked out for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.